Okay, so welcome back to another episode of Commercial Greenhouse on Bonaire. I am back today at the greenhouse that I helped set up here at um, Green Bonaire. The owners, uh, Jaap and Peter, uh, have put this up, I've called it Green Bonaire. It's located at Crusada. And Jaap is the one basically in charge of running the greenhouse. And I was contracted several months ago to help them out considering my experience with hydroponics on Bonaire. And this is basically what it resulted in. I have another video, part one. If you want to click on that one, you can see it over here. But today I'm back to take a look at the, the system as it is running. We have made uh, several adaptations along the way. Uh, Yap as well has run into certain things that were more convenient. And today I'll be showing you some of these uh, changes and just to take a look at the system, which is now fully circulating. So let's start at the back here, which is basically where we have the babies. So you can give a take a look at the babies here. Now these are pretty small. Uh, they start off as in these plugs. We use little peat plugs and we put them in these big trays and then we can dip it into the water here. This is a very mild nutrient solution. And then we lay them out here so they can dry up we do that once a day and then they go into stages this one was planted today so it's empty now whereas this one over here is a bit young still and um, probably would uh, by next Tuesday now um, it's Friday now by Tuesday these guys should be the next generation which will be moved into their net cup so basically on this side we have a station with a bit of more shade on the top where we have the cleaned up net cups and we have the uh, hydro pebbles, the uh, expanded clay pebbles, hydroton, and a fan over here just in case it gets hot. And from there, what we do then is uh, they basically uh, plant them under here, and then they take them in these trays, and they take them over to whichever of the buckets is empty. So here we can see um, babies that were planted uh, yesterday, the day before. This is the generation, the newest generation that has gone into these these big boxes. Now, as you can see, these big boxes here uh, is uh, they are a full plate. So this this is what we would call here 122 centimeters by 244, or in American sizes you would call this a foot four by eight, four foot wide by eight foot long. And each box or each um, water container, whatever you want to call it is two of these so this this entire box here is one plate over here and one plate more here that's basically one of these boxes so what we have we have a cycle where we can harvest about one and a half of these each day excluding saturdays and sundays so five days a week we are basically able to harvest here um, one and a half per day and that has a complete cycle so here you can see the babies on this side you can see the, the ones that are a little bit older, probably been in there for uh, two weeks. And here you got some that are a couple of days older again. And as you can see, the cycle just goes up and up. And we left the greenhouse here like it is. They decided not to level it so that the water could keep running. So you can see some of the containers boxes go down as they go. This year a bit older, maybe uh, two and a half weeks. And this is how the system basically keeps running. Um, they found it a bit inconvenient to have to clean the boxes out sometimes. So what we've done now, if they actually put underneath of these, they've put a drain. So now we got a drain under here. We can just hook up that yellow hose and then hook it up to here and remove all the sludge and after a two or three cycles, make a complete clean and just drain it out through here. Hopefully, and that's still the idea um, they're going to use the drain water uh, by in the future to plant some other trees outside here maybe some papayas or other kinds of fruit trees that grow well here in the Caribbean as you can see there's two layers of uh, mesh here basically the shade cloth on the top of the greenhouse is a 50% shade cloth black and then there's a second layer that we've put here in between so there's a double layer where we are in the Caribbean here it's very dry it's a lot of wind and a lot of sun 
Today there's a few clouds, but generally speaking, we have a, a lot of sun. And then we found um, that first they had the only one layer of 50%, but that's gone up. So here you can see some nice romaine. We've seen the, the beautiful muir, which is a nice leafy lettuce. And here we have the romaine lettuce. I think this one is Helvius or Salvius. And then over here we have this beautiful muir. Nice crop, as you can see. Beautiful green lettuce doing really well. Here's a nice bigger generation. And now we're, we're coming up onto the, the ones that are getting bigger. Bigger for harvesting. You'll see that soon we're coming up to the, the biggest sizes which are ready for harvest. Even this one here, though it's probably got another week to go. This is a beautiful lettuce, but still needs probably about a week to, and it will probably double in size um, still from where it's now. Get the roots in there. There we go. Here they tried a different system, recirculating system. The result was 25% less volume. So um, it seems that these pipes are warming up too much by the sun and so the, the productivity is less. They also look a little bit less healthy. And as we come further down, we'll see these romaines. These are the ones that will be harvested uh, by Monday and Tuesday. Beautiful romaine, I think this is salvius and helvius. And the beautiful does really well on hydroponics. And then you can see the final crop, which is where they'll start harvesting this week. Here's one that kind of fell over. Yeah, but it's a really nice, nice crop. You see the white, beautiful white roots. There you go. And they're a really nice head of lettuce. And this is the big ones over here. This is the finished thing. So it's looking really nice. It's working really well. This is the uh, commercial hydroponic greenhouse. There is three more tunnels like these but they are using it still in the soil and probably he's going to start converting another one into hydroponics. It is the most successful and most controllable and so he's really enjoying it and it's working really well and we're not having a lot of setbacks. Whereas in the soil there's quite a few of setbacks. Soil is a little more complicated. There is a bit of saturation of the, I think boron and so the soil is uh, not too well anymore. And so hydroponics is a very efficient way to do it. So, well, this is it. This is um, Green Bonaire at Crusada. And my name is Roald Bohm. And I think they've done a great job. It's looking really good, controlled, and they're having a real success. So, see you guys later. As you can see here, we're harvesting the moir. They are harvesting this system. So today, the remaining lettuces of this will be taken out. A beautiful lettuce. I'll take one out here. Nice size. Here's the nice white roots in this nice little lettuce.